Hello friends, it is your friend, Rick the Melon. Welcome to Indie Lunch, the quick stream that has a go of an offbeat game to see if it's any good. We'll play for a bit, discuss as we go, enjoy the experience together, and then by the end we'll ask you to decide whether we stick with the game tomorrow, or twist and move on to another game instead. You decide. Today, we are playing a game called Treasure Hunter Simulator. So let's have a look at what this is about. Without further ado, we're going to launch that thing from the um, things I've seen so far. We are basically just going around with a metal detector and seeing what we can find, which could be boring. It could be good. It could be interesting. Um, do a new game. Um, story mode. There's a story. This will allow you to have access to jobs, but you will have to work on unlocking maps. Okay. Hmm. Just saved. Very recent game as well. In the last few years. Welcome to Treasure Hunter. This is a tutorial level. In it, we sh we will teach you how to play and find treasures quickly and effectively. If you already know how to play Treasure Hunter, you can press the skip button below, otherwise click OK to start. OK. Decent graphics. Decent. Not amazing, but decent. OK, movement. Yep. W, A, S, D. Or on keys and mouse and keyboard. Hi, Anne. Character can run a lot faster. Press and hold shift. Yep, standard issue. Oh, look at these cannons. Nice. Um, PDA Public display of affection <laughs> When you enter a location you can bring up your PDA with you PDA uh, Press PDA Oh M M Ooh, See the shadow then, that's good This is a world map Here you will find a top down view of your current location With important landmarks marked The map will update with locations That you've managed to find a treasure we zoom and a wheel oh just put a waypoint i guess we want to go there can't seem to put a waypoint there we go historical object that's what that is um treasure found so we've not obviously found any treasure yet and uh yeah okay wait there was jobs there wasn't there oh no jobs yet Camera. Oh, we can take pictures of the place as well. Let's exit. But oh, what's beeping? Oh, is that my metal detector? Wait, have it. Oh, here we go. This is it, folks. You and E to rotate left or right. Oh, okay. Make sounds high frequency and lower time between sounds the closer you are to a treasure. Additionally, the closer you are to a treasure, the more the icon on the lower right corner will fill up. What? Lower right. Oh, is this a field of view thing? I'm just, I look at the field of view. Seems to struggle with field of view. Oh, there's no options. <laughs> no options whatsoever. Uh, okay. Guess we've got no hood. Ooh. Here we go. Wanted something. Yeah. Oh no. Come on. trash 
What is that? Is that anything? Did we see something there? Or is that... A needle! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I have found a needle in a haystack. <laughs> oh, come on. A needle? Really? A needle. Wow. Hooray. <laughs> Does anybody want any sewing? Oh, it's even Ben. It's, look at it. It's Ben. It's a sorry needle. We ripped the garments. Are they trying to sew. Okay. We found a needle. Oh! Judging by the material, length, shape, and especially the hole, <laughs> referred to as the eye, this needle likely to date back to the 18th and even 17th century. How do you know from that? Needles have been used as early as the prehistoric era, where needles made out of thorns or rock fragments have been used with sinew or plant material as thread for sewing together animal skins. Oh, uh, yeah. The earliest documented needle dates back to 61... Thousand? Shouldn't that be comma? Years in Africa. Bone needles were used as far as 50,000 years ago, while copper needles have been dated back to... 4400 BC. The first iron needle dates back to the 3rd century BC. There will be a test at the end of this, but oops, no, there won't be. Take. We've got a needle. Oh, how much that's. Oh, that's rare. That is rare. I've just got a notification on Steam to say that I have achieved a rare item unlock. Wow. I wonder how much that ancient needle is worth. After picking up and identifying a treasure, it will be placed in your inventory. After you return to your office, you will place all of the treasures in a safe spot and catalog them in your computer. To open your inventory and check what you collected, press the inventory key. Aye. There it is. Rare. Iron. Oh, $10. Still, for a needle, that's pretty good, right? Pretty good for a needle. Okay. Um... Legendary. Each zone you visit will also have a special treasure called a legendary. These items are very rare and can only be found if you get some tips where to look. Once found, identified and stored, a legendary item will greatly increase your prestige within the treasure hunter society. Try to find a legend. It's really nice. At any point you can return to the office and pick up a new zone for adventure to. Return to your office, press escape and return to office. Okay. I want to check out this landmark because with something good around here, right? Oh, here we go. We've got, we're onto something. Could be another needle. Oh, there. That's it. Let's see what we're going to find now. That's something bigger. I actually saw that. A bullet shell. An old 9mm pistol casing. Clean this bad boy up. Oh, look at that. Sparkly. You can see inside. Um, this is without a doubt a casing for the 9x19mm pistol cartridge, also known as 9mm Parabellum or 9m Luger, based on the origin. Developed in 1902 in Germany for the Luger pistol, it gained massive popularity after World War One. Today, it is worth at the world's most popular cartridge for pistols and submachine guns, used by militaries and law enforcement all over the world. Normal rarity, $7. $17 now? This time next millennium we'll be millionaires. No treasures nearby. Let's go for something around here, come on. Yeah man. Something. Oh. Blurry. Nothing. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go to one of these edges. Gotta be something over here. Just randomly. It's all man-made pathways, isn't it? So, 
Uh, I'm not sure if I, I mean, imagine if this is like valuable. What would you do if this like beeping here? Would you would you dig here? I don't think I'd dig here. Don't beep. Okay, good. I didn't beep. Go on the other side of this thing. Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Let's run. Let's go for a jog. Go for more ground. An impressive metal detector, this, because, you know, it just detects metal from way away. Maybe there's nothing left. There's got to be something. Surely this whole place doesn't beep when you're running. Did we miss any? I only saw the icon down there and I realized that we're onto something. Let's go further. Let's go back this way. See what wonders we have now. Ooh, it's something pointy and sticky. It's a metal bar. Oh, it's a rifle. Look at this. Possibly the late 19th century muzzle loaded musket. The muzzle indicates it's rifled and given the age and place, it's safe to conclude that it was made to use the Mini ball. Maybe one of the Springfield 18 series models. Let's identify. Oh, look at that. Nice and clean. Ooh, shiny. 1856 to 1862. Springfield model 1855. We're learning here. Hi, Jerish. Just found this nice musket. Good old Springfield. Not the Simpsons one. <laughs> Back then it was a revolutionary weapon that changed the battlefield. Rifle barrel and the use of vignette ball not only increased the musket's effective range, but also its accuracy. The use of the new Maynard tape primer meant that the precision cap did not have to be manually placed and also prevented many of the misfires, which in turn resulted in significantly faster reload times compared the earlier muskets. Back in those days, how often a soldier could fire his musket actually trumped accuracy and range. Okay. Fair enough. Put it in the old backpack. Oh, did it say how much it was? I didn't look at the value of it. Priceless. Look at that. Priceless. We've hit the jackpot. We found the legendary item and thus completed the tutorial. Go back to your office now and learn more. Woo! We're rich. Okay, return to office. Feel there could be something else out there, but maybe there isn't, and we'll be just wasting time, so. Large spaces. You can freely walk around the office. In it, you will find the PC and collections to interact with. The map. Oh, here we are. This is where we are. Bavarian Lake. So we're going jet setting around the world, not just in one place. Oh, there's one over here, too. Oh, Gettysburg, that's where we were. Pennsylvania. How do we move? Can't move. Okay. Email. Job offers. $20. $30. 
take a photo of the cannon. So there's a bit of a photographic element to this game as well. Or you can upgrade your detector. Get that. I've got $20. What would that get me? Not much. Oh, analog and digital. Look at this. Wow. Oh, look at that. The Ytech K22 H3D. $10,000. Full stats. Nice. Got a priceless one there. Okay. Let's just travel there and see what happens. How's everyone today? Oh, that's pretty. That's quite bright. What does this say? Don't know because it's German. Good. Very good. Open 9 till 6. Feels like it's afternoon already. Could be morning, but I think it's afternoon. Maybe our PDA says. No, no. Uh... Oh, that's where we are down there. There's a few monuments over here. Go to this one first. Lovely day for a hike. River is flowing. Yeah, that is flowing. Should we take a picture? Let's take a picture. Right about there. Um, how do we do the camera again? Oh. goes. Let's take a normal uh, steam photo as well. There. Got it. Don't know what that means. I hope there's no, like, wildlife to contend with. What's these signs say? Asenfeld, Wolfendorf. Got no BPs yet. What are these for? Signs on the trees. Oh, we have something. Here it goes. nail that's a nail that's a nail a bent nail yeah <laughs> very bent nail awesome an old rusty and bent nail useless jump cool don't we want to clean it up though see if it is identify it so random <laughs> yeah good to say i nailed it nailed it Okay, let's see what else is out there in the wilderness. Ooh, another, another lead. Don't be another nail. 
don't be another nail. Oh, that's not a nail. Another gun cartridge. A massive rifle casting, most likely from the 50 BMG cartridge. Oh. Okay. Ooh, and now they're shiny. No doubt this is a casing from the massive 50 cal BMG cartridge. Given the location, it is likely to date back to World War II, where it has seen its first use on a massive scale. Developed during World War I by John Browning. Browning? I've heard of that. Browning gun. Uh, for use in anti-aircraft weapons. Wow. It has been quickly adapted for other areas, such as the aircraft, such as aircraft or naval weapons, or the Browning M1921 machine gun. The 50 BMG cartridge was has been part of every major conflict since World War II, and is among the best known and mostly recognizable cartridges in the world. Pretty rare. Condition good. Ten dollars value. There we go. We got our first yield. Where do we sell this stuff anyway? Do we get money? Okay, let's carry on our walk in the sun. Ooh, look at these butterflies. Oh. It's a nail. Is this at least straight? Looks straight, this one. An old and rusty nail. Ah, oh, it's a straight one, though. It's a bit shorter than the other one. But it's straight as it's like new, it is. Clean that up. It's worth a dollar, this one. It says it's useless, but it's worth a dollar, so, you know. It's worth a dollar. It's not useless. Something good. Something tells me I'm into something good. Oh, don't know what that is. Needle? Another nail! Oh, oh. Another nail? People really need to be careful with their nails around here. <laughs> okay, it's another nail. Oh, look at this. I think another screenshot coming on. There we go. A Steam one. And I'm going to do an in-game one as well, because this is good. This is nice. There. Picture perfect. Ah. It's like I'm playing Red Dead Redemption again. Not quite as good as Red Dead but it's pretty good. We just sit here for a while and just ponder, ponder life. <sighs> what are those huts over there? Little village. Little fishies. That's as close as I can get to the water. Hi, thanks for the follow. Artisiani. Artisiani. Not sure how to pronounce that, but welcome. Welcome to the stream. If you're liking the visuals right now, at least. We are nail hunting, it seems. Oh, can I go this way? Oh, yeah, we can, yeah. Got stuck on something. Pebble. 
I mean, uh, we are just sticking to the path, so it could be like we have to go off the path to get the good stuff. Oh, we got a nibble. Pistol cartridge. Hmm. People keep dropping their stuff. Casing for a 0.45 ACP pistol cartridge. Very likely World War II or shortly thereafter. The 45 ACP pistol cartridge was designed in 1905 by John Browning. What a guy responsible for a lot of deaths <laughs> and gained massive popularity due to Colt's M1911 pistol. The standard issue sidearm of the United States Armed Forces from 1911 to 1986. Wow, oh, that's a pretty long time using it. Okay. Hmm. We'll look up there in a bit. this? Oh, bottle cap. Seems big. Seems a big bottle cap. It is a bottle cap, but it looked huge when it was in the ground. Soda bottle. If you wait until at least 2077, it might be worth something now. Oh, is that a reference to something? Like, um, Fallout or something? Uh, all that reference there or something? I don't know when Fallout was set, but... Fallout 4. That's when the bombs go up at the start. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought, Josh. I wasn't showing the dates, but it just seemed a bit of a, a nod. Would fall out again now, just with the bottle cap collecting. Ah, oh, it jumps ahead, 200 ish years. Oh, okay. Never actually played Fallout. Oh, it's another one. The only thing I've played this Fallout is Fallout Shelter. <laughs> oh, another one. I'll be another ball cap. Or a nail. If nothing else, we're cleaning up this place. I find a bit tricky. Oh, something new. 
a bit of fire extinguisher clip that holds it to the wall. Maybe that's what I a metal fastener that was attached to the frame of a folding chair of some sort. Useless jump. Damn. Damn. This is hard. Okay, what's next? Got something else here. Not getting anything on meter here. Yeah, got it in one. Straight to it. Played many hours of modded four and a bit of shelter. Yeah. I should really. Oh, it's another nail. Damn it. <laughs> We're gonna get. I hope we get something. Useless job. Um. Okay. We're over here now. When looking down, you don't know. I, I get spun around. Alright, I'm gonna go up this hill. Hold on. Oh, I'm getting good at this. Nice uh, texture on the pebbles here. Using graphics. The Caribbean. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Useless junk. Tough dirt. Yeah. Let's go up here. It's gotta be something up here. Something good now. Don't let us end the stream with just nails and ah, another sh another gun cartridge. Nine millimeter. That spray's amazing. Can we get some of that spray here? Developed in 1902. Oh, okay. Without doubt, the casing from the nine by nineteen millimeter cartridge. Yeah, parallel. Yeah, yeah. We've seen that before. Ten dollars. It's not useless, but not great. Last one. Ah, oh, I didn't play well. Escapers on this stream, I'm afraid. Time is up, and we've got not much to show for it. You just spotted that icon in the bottom right. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a good indication as to you know the direction that I'm going. Um, I've got thirty-nine dollars in total worth of junk. Um, although I do have the priceless thing. Where is that? I don't have the price of things. Maybe I left that at home. I got $39 worth of junk. That's cool. It's more than what I had when I started, I suppose. Hey, Ronin! Oh, how are you doing? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Six viewers. We're actually pretty much just finishing the stream, but we'll do one more. Just for you guys, because uh, you've missed the stream so far. And we do do, we do a quick one, so it's understandable that you probably near the end, whenever you raid. Um, 
So this is what we're playing. We're playing a... Um, hope you're well, Ronin. Thanks again, mate, for the raid. We really appreciate that. We're playing a metal detector game called um, Treasure Hunt Simulator. Pretty nice graphics. And, uh, yeah, we've got a metal detector. I'll do one more just for you guys. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Now, we should get a beep at some point. We're just walking with our metal detector in the hand. Pretty good. Oh, here we go. See, we got the uh, bottom right there, the little magnifying glass. So we get the detector going. Find out which direction it is. So the magnifying glass shows us which direction we're going. We just kind of follow the lead on that one. Okay. Stronger over here. This way, I reckon. Until we get a... It. Let's see what we got. Haha, <laughs> no worries. Thanks very much, Ronan. We will be finishing up after this, so uh, see you next time. Ah, uh, we got a bottle cap. Another bottle cap to the collection. There we go. Just couldn't catch a break on this one. Lots of junk in there. But that's what like, real life would be like, wouldn't it? You'd imagine the amount of junk you would find on on a beach or something, such as this, or a walk. Yeah. At least we made it a nice round $40 to end the stream with. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for today's stream. Um, but there is an opportunity to vote to see if you want to see more of this. So let's get the vote going, shall we, in the stream. And uh, just at the top of the chat window, you should see very shortly. An option to vote stick to stick with this game tomorrow or twist and move on to another game instead. Using a bit of gambling talk to uh, to decide whether we stick with this game or move on. Oh, we got two twists so far. <laughs> Guess you guys don't like the bottle cap finds and the nails. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm not a fan of finding those either. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna vote on this one as well. I think I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go twist as well. <laughs> this, if you're into this thing, this kind of thing, totally reasonable game. Pretty good graphics. I won't say amazing graphics, but uh, it is the probably the best thing of this game so far is the graphics that you can do. I'm just gonna run up this hill while we wait for that pole to finish. So I'm just curious as to what's up here. You know when you're just walking up a hill and you just want to see at the top of it? There was something to detect there, but... Uh, it's actually not that much up here. It's like a picnic spot or something. Public barbecue. Hello? Anybody in? Now, if this is a horror game, I probably wouldn't have gone so eagerly up the hill into this cabin and knocked on the door. Hmm. Do you have any valuables of metal I can detect for you? It's gonna be a it's gonna be a twist by the looks of things. Ah, forget it. But yeah. Decent marks for visual style. But the nature of the game It's not my kind of game. But I, I see the value in it if somebody's into um, this kind of activity in real life. I think they're probably on a wet day or something. They want to metal detect indoors. That's pretty good. Alrighty. It is a twist. I'm going to have to stop this to stop it beeping. Well, it could get annoying. Okay. That does mean that we're going to have to choose a new game tomorrow. Let's see. What the game randomizer gives us today. Go to the screen. There we go. Tomorrow's game is gonna be Crazy Machines 2. Let's have a look what this is. Oh, flashbang. Oh yeah, I think I've seen a, something about this before. In fact, wait a minute, isn't this what you got at Christmas, Anne? 
Didn't you get a Crazy Machine 3 at Christmas? <clears throat> Those contraption kind of style things where you make something move and it has to set off the other stuff. It's pretty old. 2008. The video is... Yeah, you got three. Yeah, okay. So if you've not played it yet, then we can have a sneak peek of what to expect tomorrow. We're solving puzzles, basically. It's a casual puzzle strategy physics single player game. In no particular order. So yeah, we'll give that a go tomorrow. Um, see what that's like. And, uh, ooh, face. We'll see how we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks again to Ronin for the look. And, uh, hope you have a good afternoon. Is there anybody we can raid to pass on the gesture of raiding? Don't forget to refresh him. <laughs> Keep leading us to offline places. No one to raid at the moment. Oh, okay. We would have raided uh, Ronin, but he, <laughs> he's raided us. <laughs> Touche. All right, in that case, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching again. Have a great afternoon. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, he's dreaming of PCs again. Is he using an online configuration tool? No, he's checking a build tracker to see how his new rig is coming along. Mm. Another satisfied customer. Oh, what's he, what's he doing now? I think he's hugging us. Oh, that's sweet. Make your dream PC come true. Head to dreampc.com.au.